What's up folks, how's it going? This is Wadjo, hope you guys are all doing well, and in this video we're going to be talking about a mechanical keyboard that I've been really looking forward to, and that's the Logitech G810 Orion. Now this is an RGB LED backlit mechanical keyboard that's using the custom design Romer G switches, and I've been using this keyboard on the daily for a whole bunch of different things regarding gaming and every day-to-day -day use, and I'm going to share my full review on it, so if you're interested, let's get right into it. Now the new G810 Orion is basically a compact full-size keyboard that's becoming really really popular these days especially with mechanical type of gaming keyboards. Essentially this keyboard is very similar to the Logitech G910 Orion Spark that they released a couple of months ago but of course more on a slim diet and if you're a fan of simple purposeful design I think you're going to like the G810. Now the key combination is pretty standard and keeping with these simple themes there's really no custom buttons to be seen. There are a couple of LED status lights up top and some basic media controls on the right hand side and there's a nice satisfying large volume dial that I'm a big fan of. There's also a Windows disable key and a master LED on and off switch. Now the real star of the GA10 are two notions. One is the RGB LED lighting system and the second is the Romer G mechanical switches. First we'll talk about the mechanical switches. One the Romer G design is bespoke to Logitech and it's pretty difficult to compete in the whole mechanical key keyboard world, especially when you want to go up against uh, Cherry MX, which is essentially dominating the market right now. Now, of course, one interesting distinction between the Romer G and the Cherry MX switches is that obviously you don't have as much variety of switches. Pretty much the Romer G standard is going to be the main standard that you're going to look at when it comes to Logitech mechanical keyboards from now on versus Cherry MX. You have a whole bunch of different uh, key sets, a whole bunch of different type of switches, and uh, there's a little bit more customization when it comes to that but Logitech will probably develop their switches later on but what they have right now is really interesting in terms of actuation times it's supposed to be a quite a lot faster than uh, traditional mechanical switches it has a actuation time about five milliseconds most uh, standard mechanical switches are anywhere between six to seven milliseconds and a rubber dome switch is anywhere between eight to ten milliseconds so it's really fast in terms of its actuation times and overall responsiveness is quite excellent based on my experience. The uh, Romer G switch also has double redundancy built in. So there's actually two physical connections that each switch makes to the main circuit board. And there's about uh, three millimeters of total distance traveled between the keys and the operation point is around 1.5 millimeters. So it's got a pretty low actuation point, uh, which is always uh, good to see, especially if you want the best performance for gaming. Now the Romer G switch profile is actually very similar to the acoustics and overall sensation that you get from Cherry MX Browns. Now we're going to sample the acoustic performance of uh, the Romer G switches compared to some uh, Cherry MX switches so you have an idea in terms of how uh, the actual keys sound themselves and how quiet they really are. Now in terms of illumination, the design of the Romer G switches produces a different type of lighting effect than compared to what you have with the other RGB mechanical keyboards. Firstly, the RGB LED shines straight through the center of the switch, thereby focusing the light mostly to the key markings themselves. There's also a micro lens embedded in the switch, which focuses and intensifies the light output. And compared to a traditional mechanical RGB system, you don't have as much light spill surrounding the the key itself. If you take a look at the designs on most other keyboards in this category that use traditional switches, you're going to find a lot of light spill in the surrounding areas of the keys and the markings themselves uh, don't turn up to be as bright as what you're going to find on these uh, type of keyboards using the Romer G switches. Now the features on the RGB system are pretty much endless. There are three types of lighting modes to choose from and the effects include a fixed color breathing effect, there's a color cycle mode, as well as a star effect which emulates the 90 
night sky, there's a color wave, as well as a key press effect which lights up any individual key that you happen to press onto. In addition to the effects mode, you also have a zone mode which allows you to group specific keys together, which is excellent if you use a specific type of application or any type of game that uh, you want to basically separate the keyboard into different zones and different groups. So that's great in terms of organization perspective. There's even a freestyle option, which again will give you even more customization options if uh, those other modes don't suit your fancy. Now in terms of ergonomics, you have two sets of feet. One set will put your keyboard in a four degree incline. The other set will put it in an eight degree incline so you can get the best angle uh, and vantage point for your keyboard uh, that way. And of course, there's no palm rest. So if you need one, you can always buy one as a standalone piece or you can just get the G910, which is ergonomically superior. Now, all in all, as an everyday keyboard, this is obviously quite fantastic. It's a real pleasure to game with as well. I really don't have any major issues with it uh, besides uh, some of the ergonomic concerns that some people may or may not have. There's uh, really nothing you can really complain about uh, with this uh, overall design. And uh, one thing is for sure, uh, durability is going to be hopefully be not an issue. Logitech says that they have millions upon millions of actuation points done on the Romer G switches and their testing is quite extensive but one of the great things about the keyboard is that it does come with a pretty darn great warranty from Logitech. Additionally right now there's a crazy deal going on with uh, both the G910 and A10 keyboards. If you get uh, either of them uh, before the end of March you can actually get a free copy of Tom Clancy's The Division which is like a $60 to $50 game for absolutely free which almost uh, halves the price of these keyboards so that's an excellent deal and I think that deal goes to the end of March so check out the description for more details but that's an insane deal especially if you're in the market for a new mechanical keyboard but really other than that guys that's really it. give us a thumbs up if you like this review thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support and we'll see you later take care